Hello, Miss Shell Crafty Servings and Cash, anxious to come say hi. You can't see his tail, but it's going crazy. The birds are outside. It's beautiful out. Patio door is open. It's actually a little warm. So come say hi. Let me know you're out there. And I'm going to get started with some Americana Love. There you see his tail going. Um, we're, and the reason why I say Americana Love is we're using this heart, which is from Hobby Lobby. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started though right away, okay? So I'm using this Americana heart, um, or I call it an Americana heart. It's rustic. I love, love, love it. Hobby Lobby again, $7.99. And you can see there's already slats in it. So I'm going to start off painting the top red and the middle one red and these two white. So actually I'll start with white. I always like using the light colors first and then build on top of it. All right, and I'm use any colors you have. This is gonna be so easy, but I'll show you a few ideas of decorating on here when we're done painting it. All right, so I'm just gonna get this white out. Um, I'm gonna use a scruffy brush. You don't necessarily need to use one. I do like being able to see a little bit of that brown in there. I love this heart, Annette, right? I love it, love it. All right, so I'm just gonna dab this. Like I said, it's okay if you get quite a bit on there. It's whatever you like. If you don't, if you're not near a Hobby Lobby, there's a lot of places that just have hearts. Look in your Valentine's stash. I'm just painting these stripes. It's okay if it gets a little bit on the other stripes because we're gonna pull it all together with a couple other colors. If you, if you want the whole thing covered, cover the whole thing. I love this bright white. So this is deco art br br bright white, snow white. All right, so I locked. You can see it's not a perfect coverage. It's okay, I really don't necessarily need that. Now the other thing, one other thing, now I'm gonna show you different ways to decorate on here, but remember these, I did a lot with them. Actually, I got them off. These are from Hobby Lobby Christmas Ornaments. They're already white and they've got some of that brown in it. Actually, it's pretty close. I'm just gonna add just a little bit of this bright white just to make it a little closer to it, but I love that it's already like that. You can find stars anywhere too. You can get them now even at Hobby Lobby. Um, and I'll show you a couple other stars that you could add on here. But again, I just wanna get some of this bright white on here to make it match a little more with that white. So again, just make sure you say hi, let me know you're out there, where are you from? Oh. Okay, so I just added that little bit, it matches more with this now. Now I'm gonna set that aside and I'll just show you the decorating on it. Do not have what I wanted over here. I'm trying to, oh yeah, I do, okay. There's something very important I have to add at the end. I made this. And just rinse that off. I'm just gonna use the same brush for the red. But really dry it off well. I honestly, you could use any brush. These brushes too, from Dollar Tree, are awesome for your rustic kind of look. They honestly work good too. You could do that. All right, I'm using Anita's Acrylic Dark Red, but it's actually a nice red. It's, it's really nice for this. Hi, Kathy. Look at how pretty that and bright that red is. Hi, Marilyn. This red on. Now, I left the hanger on this heart because I like the hanger actually with this. We're not going to do anything with that. A lot of times I'll cut the hangers off, but look at how pretty that is. Um, a lot of times I'll cut the hanger off, 
but I don't need to. I should have dried this up a little bit, but it's okay if that gets on there. You can see I'm getting a little. We're gonna cover that, all right? So if you don't dry it, you probably will get a little pink in between there. But um, I do think I wanna dry it. I really don't want pink. I don't think it'll show, but let's just dry it. Okay, right, we're just drying that up a little bit so that I really don't get pink. I mean, like I said, we're going to cover that up. And it does soak in quite a bit. So it just depends how much you want to put on. Again, it's okay that you're getting some red in between there. There's my pink going on. If you want to use a regular brush so you don't get it on top of each other, that's fine. Maybe wipe a little off. Thank you, Mary. I mean, honestly, there is so much you could do with this. It's so much after we get this painted. And it's not much to paint. I think that's, that's good, that's good. Isn't that pretty already? Well, I think we're done with that. Let's switch paintbrushes. Okay, we're gonna dry this up and we're gonna just add, we're gonna add some black and we're gonna add some blue. Like I said, I'm gonna show you a few ideas of decorating this up after it's painted. We're introducing the blue onto the heart itself so you wouldn't necessarily have to add blue on top. But you can do so much. Yeah, Kathy, I love this red. It's just so bright and pretty. And now the blue I'm going to use is a darker, um, a little bit darker. But you can use a bright blue also. Just do whatever you like. Good, Deborah. All right, make sure y'all commenting. We'll do random at the penis drawing at the end. Sprinkle on the love if you love the patriotic love that I'm making. I was cutting with burlap before on here, and I'm thinking, uh, because I'm and I'm not gonna do use. I'm gonna show you what you could do with burlap, but I'm not gonna actually put it on here. But yeah, I was playing with burlap, so I'm itching again. All right, I think it's pretty dry. It doesn't have to be completely dry. It's not just pretty already you could honestly skip the next step that I'm doing but again like I said I want to introduce some blue in here and we're going to add a little bit of black too and the black is what's going to bring this together and then we'll add the blue so I'm using the deco art lamp black all right I'm just going to use it like a skinnier scruffy brush because I want it to stay like in those slats again I'm just using the lamp black I'm trying to get it a little bit skinnier by pushing it down. But it's a nice size for doing this. And that's where I said you don't have to worry if you get some of that red on. Thanks Mr. Crafty Servings is on. It's so pretty. Like I said, you can just um, leave this the way it is when I'm done here. Add a hanger. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, now I'm going to take even a little bit finer. All right, this is where we're going to enter, introduce in a little bit of blue so that you don't necessarily have to put blue on anything that you add, but you can. So we're just going to use, I love this blue. Um, this is a nautical blue by Folk Art Home Decor, but use any blue that you have. You might have like a true blue, um, whatever you like. Yeah, the black definitely adds to it. Okay, I don't even need this now. This is just so fast. 
All right, so that's just a pretty blue too. And I think it goes more with a little bit of a rustic feel. And then I'm using a thinner brush now. It's an angle one, but you don't necessarily need that. So I'm just dipping in that blue. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave a little bit of a white, but again, you don't have to be perfect. I'm just gonna do a blue line across. If you wanna be perfect, maybe mask it off with some tape. But I don't feel like I need to be perfect. I want that rustic look because that's the kind of wood we're painting on too. We went down some. We got that blue and we're gonna do it down on this one too. And that's all the blue I'm gonna be putting on here. But again, I did not do it neat and tidy at all. It's actually messy lines. Let's see, and if you want a brighter blue, you can do a brighter blue. I know you, it's hard for you to tell that it's blue on the video, but it didn't show where you went on. This is all I'm gonna do to paint. That's that's all. But and now I'm gonna show you different ways you can decorate on it because it, it'd be just so easy to show. Can you see the blue? This is where you can go so many different directions. I did paint up this star, which I gotta dry up yet. I'm still a little wet. So again, this was a Christmas star, a Christmas ornament that I just painted. Dry. This is the one I'm actually gonna use, so I'm gonna do this one last. But again, I'll show you different ideas now from here. If you wanna add a cute hanger on, you could do a beaded hanger. You certainly could do that, just staple it or whatever way you want on the back. I'm Again, I like this rope, I think it feels good with this. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I show this is the way you can decorate with it. This was the May Craft Club, so isn't it? It's the perfect colors to this. So if you're putting things out, perfect colors for it. All right, let me just show you. There's just a few ideas I have for decorating on it, but there you can go so many different directions. So this is from. Hobby Lobby. This is Hobby Lobby, but I bet you can get these like at Meyer stores, any craft store, Walmart probably, you can get different things, all right? Honestly, you could paint this up or do napkin on it, but look at how pretty that would be on here, or not even paint on it, you know, but you could put something like that, straighten it out. So like I said, you could paint it up, um, put it wherever, you could do it cross like that, so that's one idea. This was Hobby Lobby for $1.99. I would think that all this um, uh, USA and 4th of July crafts, I think this will go on sale pretty soon if it didn't already now. All right, another, here was another star, okay? Last year, and <laughs> it's pretty messy. Last year I did a uh, garland, okay? There are, there were, you could buy these star garlands, I think at Hobby Lobby too. And they're red, white, and blue, sort of rustic, and I did a craft with them. So I just cut it apart and I'm using one of the stars. Um, I painted this blue, and I'm just showing you because I'll, I'll tell you what I did on it. I painted this the same blue that's on here, and then I stenciled on it with, um, with our minis, okay, our patriotic minis, which is the same that I did on that banner behind me. But look at how that turned out. Isn't that cute? So you could do that on here. Again, I'm gonna show you what you put behind this even, but wouldn't that just be really cute? I would tip this up a little bit like that. So that's an idea. So they had the little star. So the Patriot Minis, it was honestly two stencils that I used. I just used parts of them. I just used the USA from that one, and I used the stars from this one. And it just is really, really cute on there, isn't it? So, yeah, these, if you want a link, let me know. Um, I can get you a link for these. These I love, and we could do so much. Like I said, that's what I used back there. 
another idea. So this is where I was cutting up my burlap. I'll be cutting up I cut a burlap and then I just added some rag fabric to it. So you could either, you could honestly, you could put it behind here. Let me back here, let me show you that. And fold it up. You could put it behind there. You could just honestly not even use a star and put it on there. You could put this star down here and put it on there. So there's there's a lot of different things you can do with doing just a simple rustic rag looking bowl. Um, and it would just be really cute with that. So those are ideas. So that what I'm doing though is I'm gonna use this star that I painted up. And again, it was a Christmas ornament that I had. Okay, even if you go with, um, I was gonna say if this was like a this was one of these stars. So this was the white star that was with these, and then it was a red one yet. That even just something, you know, like if you do the if you go this direction, or even I like that. I like that. Honestly, I like that color on there, right? Um, you could take jute also. And just wrap jute on there. Right? That would be really, really cute too. So that's another idea. And make that star whatever color you like. I love this. Yeah, there, there's just so many different ideas. So now we're gonna use this white star. And I'm gonna use my favorite raffia. I also, now where did I put? I also have a button to add, of course. I love this look. I love that color on there, right? That's a really good look. All right, so we're gonna use some raffia. I'm just gonna pull out some pieces and we're gonna make a messy, messy raffia bowl. And we're gonna stick it behind that star. You know I like sticking the raffia behind things? Um, I just think it really adds some cuteness to it. I need to get some more of this raffia because when this is gone, it's done. I put this in kits sometimes, and it's my favorite time. I got it at Michael's, and I don't have Michael's near me, so get that right It's my last bag. Thanks, Paul. Yeah, Kathy, so many ideas. And I'm going to take one more. I just want, I, I want big and messy. Go big or go home, right? And then, if you want to separate out this raffia, make these smaller pieces wider, you can. But um, I'll do that after. So I'm just, I'm scrunching. I want it pretty big though, because it's got to show up behind that star. Well, it's not technically a bowl, but it ends up looking like a bowl. Pieces in there. So we'll get all this jute and we'll tie it and we'll get it separated. Uh, Michelle, yeah, and it's not even a long one. It's, it's not a long one. Hello, Lori. It's okay if you're late. Everybody's got legs, right? This is my really fun part. It's in my family. Right, we'll just cut that little short. Now I'm going, I like separating out my raffia. So anywhere where there's fat raffia, so pick it apart so that it's, and you can do that before you put it into the bowl, but it just makes it fuller. <laughs> All right. I just want that messy like that. 
If there's anything way out of line, you can just tuck it into. I'm gonna put this on here. I might have to tuck that other piece in, and we're gonna put that on, on top of there like that, but I'm gonna tuck it off. I'm not liking this piece either. just to keep that controlled. Do they, Kathy? Hobby Lobby. The wind chimes. It's only in case you didn't see that. Thanks, Diane. There we go. Let's get that shorter. Anything that's really out of control, you can cut that off. I thought we're just going to do it it's sideways and I'm going to again separate this out and make sure it's messy and we're going to put that right on there like that. Love on yeah, I love the wind chimes too. And I'm just gonna put a dab of glue on here also and hold it on right away. You take a button and string through each side and have those strings hanging out. You could do that too. If you have any of the red, white, and blue that you get from Dollar Tree that you can stick out and make it like a fun look, you could do that. I've got one button where I'm gonna just put it right on the below. Where we're gonna put it because you're not gonna have one. Let me just put it up over on the side over here. I don't know that I like it centered. I think we're just gonna put it on the side just to add a little touch. Yes, you caught me live, Norma. Thank you, Paula. So those are all really good ideas that you could do with this. Button shifted a little. Thank you, Paula. Show you. This side just matches with the mini, the, the craft club mini. Just craft it perfect with it. There we go. <coughs> What do you think? Do you like it? So easy, so many different ways you can decorate with it. Thank you, Mary. Look in your Christmas crafts. I said, or look at if your Dollar Tree might have stars right now. Um, I know I have more of these. I'm guessing they were from the Dollar Tree some years back. Let's do it right at the kindness challenge. Thank you. If you don't have this heart, you can you can get hearts really like look in your Valentine stash. Um, this was one from Hobby Lobby. Okay. This was a Christmas star that I just added a little extra white on to match the white. We just already had the slats in. We just painted, just follow the slats, added in the little pop of blue on the stripe. And with the black in between, it just pulls everything together. Um, it's so easy to decorate and so many different ways you can decorate. So 
All right. Y'all have a good day. Enjoy, hopefully, the summer that's coming. And we'll see y'all really soon.